Ride Concepts, the new kids on the block, but can they ride with the big boys? Yeah. Riders, welcome back to Sand Spikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes. And today, it's all about Ride Concept shoes. We do one month test on these bad boys and we give away one pair to a lucky viewer. So let's get into it. Riding shoes is something I'm really passionate about. About five years ago, I broke my foot very badly in a bike accident. And probably like a month or two before, my friend told me I was riding the wrong shoes. He said I needed to get a more modern, protective riding shoe for the style of riding I was doing. And I kind of laughed it off because I am pretty old school. And sure enough, I broke my foot in four places. It took me nine months to learn to walk again, and I was one year off the bike. I see it far too many times out in the trail where you see someone riding a really expensive mountain bike and they're not riding the right shoes. They're wearing trainers. Don't be that person. Definitely get yourself a good pair of riding shoes and a good MIPS helmet. So who are Ride Concept? I have heard it a few times out in the trails that Ride Concepts are actually the old owners of 510 because 510 was sold to Adidas a few years ago. That is not true. Ride Concept was founded by Brandon Dodd. He saw his son going through pretty much every riding shoe out there. And he looked at them and thought, you know what, I think I can do a better job. And Ride Concept was founded. About a year ago, I first saw Ride Concept shoes and they were with the Wildcat. I saw Sam Pilgrim rocking them out and I thought, I need to try these shoes. They just look so good. So full disclaimer, I reached out to Ride Concept and they sent me a Wildcat, a Powerline and a Transition to try for a month. Okay, so let's start with the Wildcat. Look, have you ever seen a cooler looking shoe? Look, for me, they are the best looking shoe in the lineup. The recommended retail for the Wildcats is 120 US. And for me, that's pretty standard these days for a well-made, well-designed shoe. So the first time I put the Wildcats on, I was like, wow, I don't really wanna ride with these. I want these as my casual shoes. Okay, but I had to ride with them because I'm doing the test. First thing I noticed, loads of protection. I really like the high cut of the shoe. Uh, I have weaker ankles and I really like that extra protection. And also this power strap here, which just made me feel like more connected and planted into that shoe. And the toe cap here, it's not super hard, but definitely hard enough to protect you when you hit rocks. So another thing I wanna mention about the Wildcats is they come with D30 protection here for when things go peak tongue. I found the grip on the Wildcats to be good for trail riding and dirt jumping. The Wildcats use DTS 6.0 rubber kinetic sole, which is a harder compound than the 4.0 found in the power line. Overall, I found the grip to be very good on the Wildcats, but better on the power lines. But saying that, on the Wildcats, I'm now 10 rides in, and I think I'm getting a bit more traction now. Riders, please note, as I said, if you bought the Wildcats, give them some time. They are a stiff shoe and you need to break them in. And for any of the CrossFit or gym junkies out there, interesting fact is I've started wearing my Wildcats while I'm training. I find that when I'm doing squats or anything like that, I'm very planted on the ground and they give me that left and right support of my ankles. Okay, overall opinion of the Wildcats, very happy with them. The only thing I might change would be to get like a Australian sort of cowboy boot hook at the back because they can be quite hard to get on. Okay, onto the power lines, the flagship flat pedal from Ride Concept. And this bad boy does not disappoint. Next time you're in your local bike shop, just take a second to have a look at these. The attention to detail is super impressive. And the first time I put them on, man, so comfortable they kind of have this very light feeling about them, which is really interesting because it is a really burly shoe. 
And the recommended retail for the power line is 150 US dollars. And you can definitely see where your extra money is going. And in my opinion, it's good value for money. Okay, so the power line has a bit of a different cut. It's a bit higher on the inside and it's also got D30 protection, which I really like. I don't know if you've ever smacked your ankle on a crank. It kills. When I first saw them, I kind of thought maybe that's gonna interfere with my pedaling, but it doesn't and it's really clever. And the toe cap is out of control. So much protection here. It's actually 3D molded and every size shoe has a different mold. Also, the power line comes with a D30 inner sole protection. The power line uses 4.0 max grip rubber for its sole, which I found better in gnarly sections, rock gardens where your feet tend to get blown off the pedals. When paired with my Sam Hill pedals, the power lines have a great level of grip. Also, something about the grip that I wanna talk about. You know when you're riding and your feet move just a little bit and you, you, you're kind of trying to move them back while you're riding downhill and you can't. Ride Concept have a thing called micro adjust. I, kind of, I read about it and thought, does, is that gonna work? But it does work. Normally I'd have to sit down, take the weight off the shoe, reposition my foot and then stand up. But with the Ride Concepts, I can do that micro adjustment while still smashing down a downhill. I think Ride Concept have smashed it out of the park with the power line. It's a very well thought out, very well designed shoe. The only thing I might change is put one of those power straps on there, which the other two shoes have. I just like the feeling of really being connected to the shoe. Okay, onto the transitions. The first pair of clipless pedals made by Ride Concept. And wow, again, knocked it out of the park. A great shoe. Very similar to the power line, very similar with protection. You have the high cut here with the D30 protection. They've also added the power strap, which I really like. And also the box here for the cleat is massive. Every rider is different. And it's really nice to see that, you know, like if you want to run your cleats all the way back or all the way forward, you have room to do that. One thing I am gonna say about the cleat box, and maybe it's my riding style, but when I set them up, I'm pretty OCD, so I made everything line up, and when I clipped in for the first time, I kind of felt a bit duck-footed. So maybe the alignment of the cleat box is out just a little bit, or maybe I'm out a little bit, not so sure. But it was a very quick fix. I stopped, I adjusted my cleats, and anyone that rides clip pedals out there would know adjusting your cleats for the first time on new shoes is a bit of a pain in the ass. Recommended retail for the transitions is 160 US dollars. For me, that seems like a fair price. It's not expensive, it's not cheap. It's kind of what you expect to pay for a good quality riding shoe. The transition is a super stiff, clipless shoe, exactly what you would hope for using the 8.0 mild grip rubber outer sole. Out in the trail, I felt very protected. As I said, both the power line and the transition have this super burly toe cap here and the 3D protection here. And it's a super stiff shoe. So I felt really protected on the trail. I really liked how the cleat box was really big. It made entering and exiting the SPD pedals easy. And for such a burly SPD shoe, it's reasonably light. Okay, I'm not really sure what else I can say about the transitions, but overall, a great experience and another great shoe from Ride Concept. Okay, riders, this is sounding like a massive Ride Concept ad. I know, but it wouldn't be a proper test if I didn't compare them to my old riding shoes, 510 Freerider Pros, a great shoe. I would say, as far as grip goes, Maybe the 510 has a little bit on the power line, maybe. But when paired with a good riding pedal, I found loads of grip with the power line and I felt more protected, especially with this toe cap. And I really like the feeling of the extra protection around my ankle. And I just think they're a better looking shoes. So now to the question of durability. Look, I've probably got 10 rides on the Wildcats, maybe 10 or 15 on the power lines. 
and probably about five on the transitions. And look, all shoes still look brand new. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is do a one year sort of follow up on this review and just let you guys know how the shoes are holding up. So with loads of people buying shoes online these days, sizing is an issue. I found the sizing to be correct across the board. Ideally, if you could try these shoes on in your local bike shop, it's going to be better. And look at these cute little shoes. These are my wife's shoes, Bea. She's gonna be learning to ride in the next couple of weeks. And as I said, the first thing she needed is a good pair of shoes. And an interesting thing about Ride Concept that I really like, they have a specific woman's lineup. They haven't just changed the colors. They've actually completely redesigned the shoes for support and comfort for the female riders out there. So that is great to see. So the final word from Sam's Bikes, do the Ride Concept shoes get a yay or a nay? For me, they definitely get a yay and they are well-designed, well-made shoes, and I can definitely, definitely recommend them. Okay, on to the moment everyone's been waiting for, the giveaway. And we had loads of entries, and I thank everyone for entering, and I also thank Ride Concept for giving the shoes away. So, loads of entries, I have picked my favorite five. John Verbeck, choosing just one of them is quite impossible. They work with some of the greatest racers we have ever seen and the craziest pioneers in the free ride and slope style. Sam Pilgrim deserves an extra mention, but Paul Bass is my rider of choice. When you look up resilience in the dictionary, you see a photo of him. His story is just inspiring and proof of what awesome machines our lovely e-bikes are. John, thank you so much for the entry and I agree totally with you. Entry number two, Bass. Obviously, it has to be the Sams. Both of them are great. Sam Wordley is giving us great e-mountain bike content and cool videos. And Sam Pilgrim is just so funny and skilled. Both Sams know how to shred, though. Bass, thank you very much. Flattery will get you everywhere. Number three, Lost on Trails. Caroline Buchanan, for sure. First off, she's an Aussie but she has found success across multiple disciplines and also brings so many girls into the sport and inspiring kids to work hard and chase what they want. Definitely 100% agree and Caroline is such an amazing rider. And number four, serious star. My favorite rider is Senor Rojo Zapatos. He's a blazing fast downhill rider from the Pyrenees. He's kind of a phantom in that not many people have ever seen him. However, I was lucky enough to get a short video of him on a super fast downhill run where there were flames shooting out of his tires. Truly amazing. I'll send you a link to the video as soon as I receive my new Ride Concept shoes in the post. Oh yeah, my size is 11. <laughs> I have to say that's the funniest entry, so great work and let's see if you win. And number five, Damien Wright. Rachel Atherton, so courageous, so consistent. Rachel really sets a new high in women's mountain biking and the sport as a whole. A fierce competitor, a great ambassador, and a living legend, possibly the goat in mountain biking. Damien, definitely agree with you. Rachel is such a superstar. Okay, riders, this is how we're gonna do it. Empty box, we're going to show the empty box. We're gonna shoot it in one shot so you know I'm not cheating. So we're gonna get all the entries here. Okay, there's first one. Bass, he's in there. Good luck, Bass. Then we've got Lost on Trails in there as well. Then we've got Serra Star, you're in there as well. And Damien Wright. In there. Good luck, riders and riders. Thanks everyone that entered. And let's see who, oh, let's not. I'll close my eyes, that's gonna be better. All right, make sure I've only got one. Got one here. Okay, the lucky winner is, 
Bas Nat. Bas N. Okay, let's put that right in there. Can we see that, camera lady? Well done, Bas. Now, what you need to do is you need to email Sam Wordley at Gmail with your name, your address, and which ride concept shoes you want and what size, and I will get them sent out to you. Riders, thanks so much for your support. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Share it with some like-minded people. And Ride Concept, thank you so much for the support. And riders, stay safe out there. And I'll see you next week.